Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So I hope from the thumbnail you get to know about the topic of today's video. In this video, in detail, I will discuss about internship during MTech curriculum. Now, a couple of weeks back, I make a internship statistics video where I shared that how internships are happening at IIT Madras for MTech AI student. Now, in the comment section of that video and later in LinkedIn, I received a lot of messages from you people regarding a lot of questions uh, related to internship during MTech curriculum. So, that's why I have decided that I will be making a separate video discussing detail uh, all the perspective of internships that happens during your MTech curriculum. So, in this video, I will discuss in specific uh, that why internship is needed, why your MTech students should go for internship. Uh, next thing is that when does uh, the interview will happen, uh, in which semester, if you, if you join MT, in which semester you have to appear for the internship uh, interview, uh, what are the eligibility criteria, what are the questions that is typically asked uh, in those interviews, and then, you know, which of the IITs actually allow the MTech students to go for internship. And finally, I will be sharing few statistics, like few of the IITs, their internship statistics I will be sharing. I already made a separate video about IIT Mandas MTech EI students, so that is there. But apart from that, uh, some other IITs and some other uh, discipline data that I have, that I will be sharing at the end of this particular video. So, if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Without further ado, let's get started into today's. So, if you join these institutions like IITs, ISC for your MTech curriculum, uh, typically after first year, that is end of second semester, during the summer break, uh, you can go for any company to do your summer internship. The typical timeline is 8 to 12 weeks, that means 2 to 3 months of internship that is being offered by different companies. Uh, you can go to the company, you can work like a regular employee, uh, you can do, uh, you will be part of some project that you will be, uh, you will be doing work on. And by the end of uh, three months, uh, your internship will be done. You will be given an experience certificate and then you will come back and join. Now, what are the advantages that you have uh, if you go for an internship? First of all, you will have an experience, uh, an industry experience that you will be having just before your on-campus placement. Uh, so that you can add uh, as experience in your CV, whatever project you'll be working on in that particular company uh, during your internship that you can showcase during your on-campus placement and that will be an added bonus for you. So overall, you will gain some experience that you can use uh, during an on-campus placement and you can get a benefit of uh, benefit in the interview and first probably you'll be having an edge in the interview. And second uh, advantage of doing an internship is uh, many of the companies, uh, if they are satisfied with your work, uh, maybe they will offer you a pre-placement offer that is PPU. Uh, that means basically at the end of uh, your internship, you kind of a job will be offered by the company. And then, you know, it, it, your life is kind of relaxed. You know, by the end of uh, almost in the first year, you'll be having a job. So after you come to the internship, if you're getting a PPO offer, then you have nothing to do in the second year. You don't need to even appear for the uh, placement, on-campus placement. So your life is relaxed and uh, your, your, your whole uh, you know, the goal of doing MTech is all about having having a job and that is done. So, you will be relaxed uh, from, from then onwards. So, these are the advantages that is there if you go for an internship. But having said that, you can refrain yourself also from doing an internship. If you are someone who feel that uh, you want to have a flavor of doing research and you want to focus on MTech thesis, then you can decide not to go for an internship. You can decide to stay back in the campus and work on your MTech thesis under your MTech supervisor. So, this is all about uh, internship that is typically happens uh, during the summer break after your first year. The next question is do all the institutions allow MTech students to go for internship during the summer break? The answer is big no. As far as I know, among the top institutions of our country, only ISC Bangalore, IIT Madras and IIT Kharagpur allows MTech students to go for internship. On the other hand, uh, to the best of my knowledge, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi and IIT Kanpur doesn't allow MTech students to go for internship. So this is my knowledge uh, and if there is someone who knows about that maybe IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur is now allowing MTech, MTech students to go for internship, they can let me know. I will rectify it maybe in the comment section or maybe in, in my uh, upcoming videos but as far as i know uh, till today 
IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi, they, they doesn't allow MTech AI students to go for internship. They prefer that uh, they will stay back in the campus and work on MTech project or MTech thesis. Now, next question is when do these interviews for internship happen in these institutions? Now, that depends from institute to institute. For example, in ISC Bangalore, typically the intensive interviews is conducted in the month of January. That means you are joining, for example, uh, for your MTech in July. After completing your first semester, you will go for a winter break. And once you come back, once the second semester starts, uh, company will keep on coming for your intensive interview. And from January till uh, mid of March or maybe early uh, April till that time, uh, these interviews for internship will be happening. So companies will keep on coming based on their requirement and you'll be appearing for the interview. And if you can crack it, you'll be go, you'll be going to that particular company for an internship during the month of May. So this is the scenario for, uh, for ISC. In IIT KGP, internship interview is happening throughout the year. Uh, but typically that's for the BTEC students. For MTech students, they are not allowed to appear for uh, for the intensive interview uh, in, 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 the, in the beginning of their MTech curriculum. They are only allowed to appear for the intensive interview in the month of Jan only. But throughout the year, intensive interview is happening for BTEC students. For MTech students, only they can appear in the second semester. However, IIT mother, the scenario is, as, as soon as you join the MTech curriculum, you are eligible to appear for any intensive interview that's happening. So in IIT Madras also the intensive interview happening throughout the year. But the only difference from IIT Kharagpur is that as, as soon as you join your MTech curriculum from the very beginning of your uh, joining, you are allowed to appear for the intensive interview. So this is how things are happening in different institutions, different institutions, different rules, different protocol. And based on that, you'll be appearing for uh, for the intensive interview. Now let's talk about uh, how these uh, interviews have been conducted in different uh, IITs and IIC Bangalore. Uh, so regarding CGP criteria, because many people asked me about CGP criteria. Uh, so see, CGP criteria again depends on the company, but I personally feel that minimum 6 or 6.5 if you have throughout your academic uh, career, then you are safe. Uh, if you are below 6, uh, then it depends on the, the company, whether they will allow you, you or not. Uh, but in general, if you have a CGPA in your BTEC or before that also like 6.5 or 65 percent in your 10th or 12th, then you are safe. You are you are eligible for appearing for the written test or interview. Now coming to the uh, what what is being asked in the interview because it's very early of your MTech curriculum. Then what is being asked? Uh, so if you are appearing for the intensive interview in the in the in the in the, in the, in the beginning of your second semester, like in IIT Kharagpur and ISC, what is being typically done, then you will be asked uh, from the mathematics background, whatever is being taught, whatever courses you have taken in the first semester, and from the gate syllabus. So these are the things that will be there in the in in the in the uh, syllabus of your uh, interview for internship. And companies will typically test your skill on these things. So, in specific, I can tell you about AI or CSE branch. So, typically, company will ask you questions from different maths, uh, data structure, algorithm, C programming. So, these are the things they will test you because by then you are not specialized of AI machine learning and all these things. If you do some AI machine learning course in your first semester, then probably they will ask you a few questions from there. Now, uh, if, you, if you think about IIT Madras case where you, you can appear for interview in the very first day of your uh, MTech, MTech curriculum, then probably I think they will only ask you from the gate syllabus because uh, if you, 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 you have just joined the MTech and if you got a call for interview, you haven't done any courses at IIT Madras for your MTech. So then your only gate syllabus will be, will be tested, mathematics skills and whatever has been done in gate. So that will be tested and based on that, maybe they will, they will select you or they will reject you. Now, what will be a salary for these internships uh, that you'll be doing for 8 to 12 weeks uh, in different companies? So minimum, you can expect around 60 to 80,000 rupees overall for this internship period. And maximum, it will be 2.5 to 3, uh, 3 lakh rupees. That means overall for these uh, 2 to 3 months of internship, you can get overall 2.5 to 3 lakhs rupees. So this I have already shared in that IIT Madras MTEC AI uh, intensive statistic video. There you can check that there are some companies which are offering like 60,000, 80,000 rupees overall for the internship. There are some companies which are offering around 2.5 lakhs rupees overall for the internship. So remember it's overall salary. It's not like per month or per week salary. 
Now at the end, I'll give you some update about how internship is happening in these institutions like ISC, IIT Madras and IIT Kharagpur. Uh, so especially for IIT Madras, MTech AI, uh, I have already made a separate video. You can go and check it out. The link will be in the description or it may come in the i button. You can go and check it out if you haven't watched that video. Now for IIT Madras, MTech CAC this year, now uh, the news I am able to gather is around 10 to 12 students out of 47 got placed in internship. Now remember, this is the batch of students who have just joined. So they have joined in 2025 only. They are in the first semester of their entire. And from CSE already uh, 10 to 12 students out of 47 got placed. And uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the count might be higher uh, because this, this data I have gathered around a uh, couple of weeks back. So the count might have increased by now. But yeah, approximately 10 to 12 students or maybe 14 students got placed. Next is IIT Kharagpur. Uh, in IIT Kharagpur from CSE, last internship data I am able to gather, 16 students were placed total for internship. And there are many companies uh, who were uh, visited the campus. Citibank was there, Micron was there, TCS Research, Texas Instrument, Accenture AI. So these are the companies uh, were there uh, who recruited uh, students for from MTech in CSE from IIT Kharagpur for internship. Now coming from IIC, from IIC Bangalore, I am not able to gather uh, data about MTech, MTech from CSE. But uh, from MTech AI, what I got to know is around 10 people got intensive last time. That means again, uh, whoever will be appearing for placement this year. So, so the last intensive data is around 10 students from MTech AI. Uh, they got the intensive offer. Now you might be thinking that uh, this statistic is not that good. I mean like uh, 12 out of 47 or 10 out of maybe 50, we are getting placed. But intensive statistics are usually like this only. So for the last five years, I haven't seen any IITs is achieving more than 50% of placement uh, success rate in the intensive. So uh, in intensive, typically these companies, they have very limited seats. So that's why it's uh, typically like 10 to 15 or 20 people only is to get this kind of intensive offer. So that's it guys, that's it about this video. I hope with this video, all your com confusion or doubt related to uh, internship during your MTech curriculum will be cleared. But still, if you have any question or query, you can comment in the in this video. Uh, you can send me mail uh, your question or you can connect me in LinkedIn. I mean, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe my channel, hit the, hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. That's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, 